since I don't usually just give uh, my opinion or advice on how one should study because it is very subjective thing. Every person has a different style of uh, studying. So if I go and tell someone what things work for me, that might not suit for him and that might actually do bad for that person. So I usually refrain from giving such um, opinions or advices, but I told that I would just share my story, like how I studied. Maybe if you click with some points, you can take them. I will just describe my journey. So I would start from uh, 10th standard, I guess. So in 10th, so I, I scored well and I was in Ferguson College itself. I was taking science bifocal courses. That is, I had taken computer science uh, in place of biology. Um, so till 11th, um, what I was studying, I was scoring well, but I never felt like I was, I never felt I was enjoying. For example, given a chance, if someone said that, oh, you don't need to really study or do college or whatever, then I would leave. I would honestly leave studying and do something else. Like I used to um, play football professionally. I would do something like that because I, I didn't enjoy it much. But when I went to 12th uh, standard, there was a sh paradigm shift in how I looked at things. That is about the time when I started enjoying physics. So I had given up on it. I used to study for exams and uh, when I was, because for exams, not because I was interested in studying. But when I used to, when I, you know, I, I wasn't 12, I just gave up. I said, I'm not going to study for exam. I'll study only if I feel like studying. And in that moment when I was studying physics, I really started enjoying what I was studying because I started understanding what I was actually doing and what was the power of what I was studying. I had this feeling by just by studying physics or uh, whatever is there. So I remember I was studying waves and oscillations at that time. And I was fascinated just by some wave equation, just by solving it given some uh, system, suppose a string or something, just by sitting in one place, I can tell what what is going to happen next. I can just tell, okay, you give me any location, you give me any time, I can just tell where that part of the string is going to be. And or, or for the matter of fact, from Newton's law, I uh, saw this rocket prop propulsion equations. Just by sitting, at, sitting here on Earth, we can just calculate where the rocket is going to be. So I felt really powerful when I started uh, when I was studying physics and I started enjoying and started seeing beyond what, what is just a study for exam it is something that can be useful in my life too so I start so that's when I started enjoying physics but I was not very much thorough with uh, my science studies till my 12th so in 11th and 12th uh, although I scored good I didn't really understand any concept because I was just studying for exam more or less so after 12th I decided to join BSc which was turned on by many people my family supported it but most of the people uh, in junior college my most of my friends were preparing for je or neat or at least our architecture and i i was thinking that i want i'm enjoying physics what if i continue my sister had already joined basic physics so i knew so i had that advantage i knew much more than uh, what uh, she knew at her time and so i I was discouraged a lot, but I still just joined physics. I was not expecting much of it, much out of it. But once I started, uh, BA, okay, even before that, since I've, all of my other friends were doing IIT and JE, so and studying a lot, I thought since I'm doing BSc physics in comparison, because my uh, environment was like that in Ferguson College, I thought that I should study on my own. If I'm doing BSc physics, at least I should do that really well. So if I'm not studying for JE or IIT right now, that's fine. But if I'm doing physics, I should do it really well. So then at the summers of uh, the summers between 12th and the first year of BSc, I started studying um, uh, this H.C. Verma book, which was recommended to me by a friend in my 11th, but I'd never op really opened it. So this is something you can do. And th that was the time I never joined any class or any coaching, but I was, I knew I was interested in it. I wanted to learn this and I used to set targets, everyday targets. Okay. I, I have to complete these many pages by the end of this summer or whatever. So I need to do these many pages per day. Not that number of pages and where you should also understand it, but something that matches my speed also. So I started keeping track 
even my father used to help me keep track he was a big motivation in all of this and he used to help me like uh, to keep track how many pages have i done and so i used to do that and because of that i used to do that regularly and by the end of summer or just after one or two months uh, after starting bsc i had completed this sivarma with all the problems so but after that what uh, my bsc journey has been i enjoyed a lot i didn't know there were so many things you can do in bsc uh, you meet wonderful people and there really you have things like science club astro club and you get involved in those activities and there are what i used to do is i am as i said um, i have already made two videos about jam on my channel which i'll tell about you later so and that i tell people that i never really studied for jam because whatever i did like at sivam i did not do it for jam i just wanted to do it because i thought i'm studying physics i should i'm doing bsc i should do justice to it and i'm enjoying it so why not and so after i joined bsc my subjects were pmse physics math statistics and electronics and so more or less were aligned towards physics so when i started off i thought that i was going to do physics and i did justice to all of the subjects it was not that okay this is not physics so i won't pay attention to it i did all math stats electronics i rather enjoyed them too so for an example for example i uh, just to stay in touch with everything um, i used to study everything regularly whatever is being taught in class that day uh, i make sure i made sure i understand those things and for example i also used to give all the exams that came my way uh, for example in first year i had electronics so i had given this triple e exam which was like electronics excellence exam or something and i had cleared that so it was just so exams come your way i al always used to participate in them uh, with the sense that this would be a chance for me to check uh, how much my understanding is and what my areas of improvement are what are the things i don't understand it was never about clearing them or doing well in them but it was like a self check for me um, how am i doing and where do i stand and so on. so that also kept me motivated and kept me on track that about uh, what i should be studying and so forth i also gave exams of uh, pune university statistics association association there is a statistics quiz which is usually there for first years and second years so i had participated in that i had done things like um, um, this ipa indian physics association physics quiz pune chapter which was organized in ferguson college when i was in third year then i used to give ngp exams national graduate physics exam which is conducted somewhere around in january every year and those that exam is specifically for undergraduates and that was again a great way to check what are how much i understand and what are the things i can improve on and i that started giving me results for example i used to clear all of them uh, ngp i was there in national topper list and so on that also used to work as a motivation for me it was not that i cleared the exam and it was like a indicator to me that whatever i'm doing okay i'm doing uh, i'm i'm on the right path so i also gave this madhava mathematics competition which was math oriented and i even got to go to a camp through madhava i cleared madhava maths exam and there was a camp in isi bangalore uh, for about 15 days and i was selected uh, in that camp through this exam um there were then i had uh there uh, let me remember uh, i had applied for ross radio astronomy winter school which is some 10 to 15 days winter school of about astronomy organized by ayuka and ncra it again was a great experience and by the end of i was selected for iit kanpur camp organized by professor hc verma after my first year based on ngp result so these were the so by the end of bsc when i saw myself and compared with my other uh, colleagues of elan tunnel who were doing uh who were preparing for iits and doing engineering so i thought that bsc had really offered me much more than i would have got if i had done something else because i got to do something i liked and before going i didn't know there were so many opportunities i roamed a lot like just for these uh conferences and uh, summer camps i roamed many cities i visited many institutes i enjoyed my time at ferguson because of the activities like astro club and uh a variety of people that you meet over there so it is a very uh, i find the environment at ferguson college very good for your overall growth <clears throat> so and even after doing all this i even managed to clear exams like jam just inat and tfr and anyway i got to go to iit even after doing bsc so it was not that um, 
I didn't give JE and I, and the doors are closed. So even if you feel if you still feel like you should if you want to go to IIT, you you had that aim somewhere back in your head, then you still have a chance. And Jam is the example. So yeah, so I so I used to do things like this, just do study regularly every day whatever is being taught, whatever are the concepts that are uh, being covered in the syllabus. Whatever as I told, whatever points are not covered, then go study on their own. Uh, regarding books, I have made a video on my YouTube channel about the books that I had referred. So you may check it out. I'll show it to you later. And but it is not like that. I use those specifically. Some of them I really liked, but others are I just go to library search or go online search the, that particular concept wherever I get it. As long as I understand it, I, it doesn't matter where it, which book or where which source it comes from. As long as I understand the concept. Um, so I studied regularly. Whatever the courses I used to. For example, in electrodynamics course, whatever was being taught on board, I used to carry this Griffiths book and just read those corresponding parts, whatever is being taught, and just make and solve a few questions uh, to make sure whether I understand or not. I, I did not really do anything more than this. As I said, I didn't re specifically study for any entrance exam. I was just studying because I wanted to understand. And that gave me miraculous results. So that gives us a lesson that uh, whatever you do, what you love, love what you do. You just keep doing whatever. Like eventually, you will get success. I won't. I won't really call it a success because success has a very broad meaning. But in terms of physics, for example, I am being invited to this talk in the first place because I'm Jam Air One. So this type of success is something I never really aimed for. But it's something that you get when you do things in the right manner. You do the right things, the right things start happening.